Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? This is Andy, and we're back with another game in the Fresno State Coronavirus Dynasty. Currently in Season 2. If you watched the last game, you saw a very exciting one against Boise State. Sorry, video might have gone out there for just a second. It's okay, I was switching inputs. Uh, really heck of a game against Boise State. I mean, that that was one of the most... That's, that's definitely the most insane game I've had in this Dynasty so far. Um kind of like what I said about the Washington game. That game had everything. The Boise game had all of the ridiculousness. So that was that was super fun. Now, in case you weren't all the way uh, recovered from that, it's really okay because... Actually, I'm going to leave Riley in there because I think sometimes it screws up... It screws up awards and stuff. I don't know. I'm just going to leave Riley in there and manually edit the, uh, the uh, depth chart once we get into the game. But anyhow, let's see. Wait, who do we have right outside? Who do we want here? We don't want we don't want Carter at middle linebacker. We want so we're, okay. So last game we kind of screwed. I was kind of messing around with the defenses. I decided to go with a three-four. Yeah, there we go. I decided to go with a three-four and put uh, Malik Jackson on the end because we're missing Marcus Riley. So I wanted to get my next best defensive or my best defensive reserve into the game. I feel like that's Malik Jackson. He's 80 overall. Uh, or pardon me, 82 overall. So I put him at... Uh, I had cha basically changed to a 3-4 and put him at uh, rush... Uh, the, I guess, strong side linebacker, which is typically a rushing linebacker. Usually they don't go in coverage as much. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, now. We've had some things change. Look at this. Where's where's Bopper Co? Bopper Co, you got to get in here. The game adjusted... It put the dot on Damon Jenkins. This is rather fortuitous. Although it does mean that if Riley co does come back, if we, basically if we have a late enough bowl game to get him back, he won't be a dot. Does this mean that we've had player development? This is already a more interesting stream than I had anticipated. What week is it? Is it week 12? Uh, hmm. I did not expect... I don't think we've had player development, but let's look. This does not look like we've had player development. However, I guess because of injury, or maybe because I took uh, Riley out of the depth chart, that might have done it. But it has given the dot to Damon Jenkins. And that's not bad at all. There's not a darn thing wrong with that. About having it on a DB. Safety's better. Oh, and you know what, guys? I'm actually going to have to pause for just a moment. My boss is calling me. What's up, everybody? We're back. We're back. We had a short break there. Got a call that I had to take. It does happen. So, as we were discussing, we uh, are going to put our uh, depth chart back. Now, let's see. Had I done that already, I might have. Who are we checking out? I mean, we noticed that Damon Jenkins is now a dot, a dot man. Well, I think we were trying to see if we had any, any, uh, any kind of development cycle. I don't think we did. But I think because I subbed out Riley out of my depth chart, that might have given the dot to uh, to Jenkins. Actually, you know what? I might put it back because I don't want Riley to regain the dot. Yeah, that might be the way to go. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So look, already uh, this stream has ended up being longer than I thought it would. I got a call and I'm doing depth chart stuff. That's okay. So Carter, Ben Jacobs, over here, let's just put Hyja Lane. Or wait. No, 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 Kadir Brown, Kadir Brown. A lane, A lane. Let's try to get a different outside backer in there. Who else do we have? Lane Sears Klotz. So we don't really have anybody. Jordy, Avon. I, I guess we'll just roll with that. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. So we're back to normal. Uh, we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave Riley out because we like that dot on Jenkins. That's probably that. That very well. I, I would guess it's because I took Riley out of the depth chart. I bet it's not because he's injured. I just wouldn't guess the game to have that kind of level of logic. So, 
So look at that. So look at that. So we will review quickly our uh, visitors. We have a few people visiting. Heavy on O-line, also a D-tackle. We scored a uh, halfback last week. Also, I think a center and left tackle. I think the tight end committed earlier. We're also going after this guy. We're number two. We're really sending a bunch of points at him to hope we can get favor with him. So, so yeah, I think we're going to move on. And like the, like the stream title says, okay, so another thing is, this is week 12. We should expect some player development after this, uh, after this game. So, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, my goals for this game are simply to, uh, I want to win. I want to win big, you know, like at least by 35, something like that. Uh, don't get people, oh, look at that, run and gun, 335. Awesome. Uh, don't want any injuries, things like that. Want to try to get some good yardage. Hopefully, you know, at least get 100 yards for Clifton, things like that. I would really, I would really like a balance. You know, if I could get 200 rushing, 200 passing, that would be, that would be really good. Take wins. What are we doing? We're kicking off. All right, here we go. CSU, Sacramento. And I was floating some ideas around with uh, Bopper Co, who often appears in chat. He's one of he's probably the most dedicated uh, viewer. We were talking about a few ideas in the future, which I think is a couple years off, but still trying to plan for when. Uh, what is my controller doing? For when we do have another uh, FCS scheduled. Is my controller okay? I think it's okay. Oh gosh, um, yeah, I could have done a better job on that. Oh, we we're talking about either. So I was originally talking about scheduling to some random, some random mid-major. We could try to do a fictional like home and home with someone, or uh, if the game is an away game. Well, no. Oh, here we go. Oh darn. Uh, I was about to say if it's an away game, but you're not going to have an away game against an FCS. So we could try to do like a fictional home and home, but another idea, and I really like this from James, which was from Mr. Bopper, is, oh goodness, there we go, is to take the, the team that we played in the bowl game in real life, and oh, I did that, oh never mind, never mind, I got afraid, I was afraid that I did that funny blitz thing, but I changed my defensive playbook back, so we're good. Uh, the team that we played in real life in the bowl game, add them as the opponent. So this year, it would have been Georgia Tech, that would have been a good one. We got this guy. So we have some ideas. And it, it's, I, I know I'm going for realism, but we're also doing historical fiction. And simply put, this is just such a mismatch. And I don't gain anything in the polls. And I don't want to swing it to where it's ridiculous. Uh, Wiley. Ooh. 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 Dude, our, I know, right? They've already got like 22 passing yards. Something like that. How's it going, Audrey Potamus? Welcome back. Dedicated viewer. Start the drive so I think that'd be good. Because I, I don't want to swing it for like, oh, instead of Sac State, we're going to play Ohio State. You know, that's that's good if you can beat them. That's good in the polls. But I don't know if, uh, if I want to do that. That's a little cheesy to me. Yeah. Oh, no. That's too tall. Too tall. Did I have a bad animation, though? Uh... Yeah, not the best. Pass. That's okay. Well, we tried. Let's run. Let's run PA uh, Reed. See if we can run the ball a little bit. Wow, they actually have a good safety back there. Now, if I get blown back on the D line, that just shouldn't happen. There we go. Also going to try to drain some clock. I mean, we don't need this game to be drawn out. Okay, we should be able to hand off our first here. Goodness, he got tossed back, and I didn't get it. Didn't pick it up. Wow, look at that. This guy who's like a 52 overall just decked my, my right guard. Well, that's, that's how she goes. I guess I should have passed. I, you know, it, it, and when my pass blocking is probably good, I probably shouldn't rely on my run blocking because 
with passing, you can overcome the great jump. With running, it's over. It's it's a lot harder to overcome a great jump. So here we go. So Jared, look at this. Riley's hurt. It put a dot on Jenkins. And I think it might be because I took Riley out of the depth chart. So that was a kind of unintended, fortuitous side uh, side consequence there. Why well, they put the halfback out wide? There we go. Number on the reception. Gain of uh, let's go nickel. My nickel's pretty good. It also gets Banks on the field. Banks, who's a beast. Beast on wheels. We'll take Simmons' man up. There we go. We got him. Fourth down. Number 13, the ball carrier. Three yard gain on the play. Oh, you know something I should try more? Last game against Boise when I ran that punt back for a touchdown, that was using the straight block formation, which since you see the two gunners on the sides, it just it takes it puts one gunner on the side, and so you bring two guys in to uh, to block the kick. Well, I guess I could have I guess they're so slow I could have returned that. I'm not used to being able to return that. So let's check out P.A. Reed. The the They're spread out. Now let's fan out. Let's try to get a lineman to move. They moved. Great jump, though. There we go. That was a little scary, actually, because this, this linebacker, he could have warped over, but I just don't think he's that good. If he was better, he would have warped over. So something else I want to do as well is I want to look at WR corners. Wow, look how far back those DBs are. So this will make a really easy read if those linebackers rush in. I should be able to hit Say coming across here. Or we can just hit Clifton who's wide open like crazy. Corner? Get the corner? Yeah, we got the corner. Their guys are too slow. And that's really good for Clifton season stats. It'd be nice to get him on an award, at least top 10 list. Yeah, the speed differential is crazy. And I know I've said every part of this game is fun. Good against bad, bad against good, 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 bad, bad. This one's just not as interesting. It's more just trying to, I mean, there's management to it. There's strategy to it. Uh, like, you just want to, you want to try to get bigger chunk plays want to get not get guys hurt um, you want to get backups in the game earlier it's just not it's not as interesting and it's the thing I guess the, the difference of the difference with this is there's almost guaranteed not going to be much of a challenge whereas even if you're a good team against a bad team a team that's at least like a C you, there's still a good chance you'll have a challenge there it can't happen especially if they get a little momentum it can't happen Well, for you, Jared, I may do that since you've been asking for it for a long time. Uh, they might be running it now. Yep. Oh, get off the block. The run game's not bad. They're getting some push. Okay, we'll, we'll game it a bit. We're monster green, and then we'll change to cover three. It looks like my audibles got messed up. That's okay. Have to look into that though, and it's not that crucial anyway. The audibles for this for defense are not that crucial. As long as we have a cover three, we can change to. We're good. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, almost had. Oh, he tip, tipped it to himself. Let's go, Simmons. Get oh, get in. Oh, didn't quite get it in. Did he tip it to himself? I think he did. That was bizarre. Hey, he tipped it to himself. You know, I need to use one of these angles as my thumbnail for the video. Okay, so probably no seam or go out right here. Uh, let's go with uh, let's go with P. Reed. No, not that one. There we go. So they come out with looks like five D line. This looks good for a swing pass. I'm also gonna just gonna read the left side if that why that linebacker crashes. Okay. Ooh. 
Oh, yeah. I should have... I should have held on to it and tried to pass it. Hmm. Okay, okay. Number 90 makes the stop. One yard loss on the play. Uh, let's go with halfback double option. Second and goal. Okay, we're going to fan out. I'm probably going to... I'm going to give it to Matthews. I'm just going to have to read... Oh, get in! Almost. Oh, you got in! I didn't expect that. That's a pretty nice fall forward, I say. Did he really get in? Yeah, I guess he did. Oh, hold on. This is the thing. If we think they might review it, we're going to go with the same formation. So they're not reviewing it. They are reviewing it. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I might have glitched the game. Did I screw this up? Reversed. It's reversed. Hmm. I might have glitched it. I remember talking with you guys about what I was supposed to do in this situation. I bet I glitched it. I bet I glitched it. Yep. Okay, Clifton's okay. Guys generally look okay. Matthew's got, he got the band hammer. It did, and I'll be honest, I wasn't really, I forgot what the situation was that we talked about. So really, it's just, it's just, uh, Matthew's got hammered. Does he have passing stats? No. What does he have? He got jumping and catching. So... Matthews is basically a receiver now. He assumed someone else's stats. 90 speed. Who has 90 speed? 52 strength. Is it Sei? I think he got Sei's stats. The line's fine, amazingly. I don't know how. I think it has to do with... Uh, well, at least I only had one guy get glitched, though. Oh, check this out. Did you see this, Whopper Crow? Jenkins has a dot now. They took it off of Riley. Now, I don't know if it's because he's hurt or if it's because I took him out of the depth chart. I think it might be because I took him out of the depth chart, but Damon Jenkins has the dot now. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, I So everybody looks good. Everybody actually looks good. I don't know why my punter would be minus. Maybe he didn't have a good punt. I don't know. But yeah. These guys didn't change. So at least it's only Ryan Matthews. But I think, he, did he get Sei stats? Uh, let's look. 92, agility, 91, acceleration, 76, catch. I bet that's Sei. 92, 91, 76. Oh, I could do that. I have two Seis. Wait, did Seis change, though? No, his didn't change. So I basically have two Seis now. So here's the thing. I think he won't actually be that high of an overall because of the penalty, the out-of-position penalty. But let's look. Yeah, he's a 56. Even though he has the same stats, it's the awareness. Uh, never mind. His awareness is not lower, but he still registers as a 56 overall. So I don't know how that 56 is calculated. It, it shows him as a 56. But he has the same stats as Sei, so... I don't know. Should I put him in? or I, I could just roll with Lanye. I mean, I already got... All right, let's, I'm just going to keep playing for now. So I don't take tons of time here, um, as I already have. Uh, I could I could just leave Ryan Matthews out. Oh oh, it's third down. Why is this third down? Yeah, if needed. I mean, thankfully it's just it's just Sac State. So where is the short drags? Don't care for short drags because I want the swing pass. Let's do this. WR corners. So this is either a swing pass or to say. X or R here. So new line move. Nope. We got those. Blocking's good. We got those. Yeah, if needed, but it's Ryan Matthews. It's not like he's some random reserve. I just assume keep him out. Um, 
Oh, it took his touchdown away, though. Yeah, so I guess he's not going to get stats this game. Really? Yeah, well, let's look at the replay then. Uh, say, yeah, say he did come free, but, like, as he as he kind of breaks free, I also start to move, like, I am start to move over the pocket, so my eyes aren't really as much downfield. And I'll tell you what I looked at. I think as, as he broke free, I'm actually starting to look at Clifton. Clifton was open, too. No, I need to get better at my reads. I need to get, it's, I don't, I don't know the best mix. Uh, you know, the best mix of keeping an eye on my O-line versus um, keeping my eyes downfield. So I would guess it might be just a factor of, do I have confidence in my O-line? Do I feel like I don't need to worry about him as much? Then I can keep my eyes more downfield and just stand in the pocket. Oh, we got those. We got those. That's not a bad option to have halfback as the first read. Um, for me, I feel like it helps, though, to have an idea of what the DBs are doing. Should we bring him up? Oh, goodness. Was that a keeper? Uh, keeper didn't have much chance. Dude, look at Sac State. Nutting up right now. So this looks right for the swing pass. Clifton's in the zone. A fan probably left. It's good. I got a jump. I think this is swing pass all the way. Oh, I thought I saw a guy move. There we go. So let's see. Let's go with double, double option. I don't know if I care for this too much on the goal line. Well, they sure don't. Or do they? Something like that. What if I move him over? Do they change their shift? I'm just going to give it to Clifton and see what happens. Yeah, fall forward. No, not quite. I think he gained a yard, though. Let's just go jumbo. I mean, it's 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 it's, it's Sac State. Let's just jumbo it up. There we go. So that's two. Wait, is that three touchdowns for Clifton? No, no, no. I ran one in with Brand Stater. So that is two TDs for Clifton. I feel like if he's already got over 100, that, that might do it for Clifton today. Eight rushing. No way on. 63 receiving. I don't know. I don't know. I guess uh, maybe I'll just try to get Clifton to 100 total yards. He's already, already got two touchdowns. I'm even thinking probably take out Klutz and, uh, and Jenkins after the first quarter, too. Oh, wow. It wasn't a bad pass. Is that like off the back foot? Two, Not really. The on the play. Yeah, that sounds good. You know what we should do here, too? Let's go with cover one. Let's just man up. We have him so overmatched. Man should suffice. Or not. That's the first, I think. Number 13 with oh, third and one. Okay, we'll go monster green and then change out to cover three. We'll play Simmons. We can cheat up. Ooh, here we go. Got him. Number 13 on the run. Five-yard loss on the play. Fourth and six. Ball How much offense do I have? Do I have 100 yet? 95. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, I could just even take out Roberts as well. Roberts has plenty of stats. I'm just going to go down. It. Well, let's just go out. I want to get some offensive yardage. 
Let's do QB slot. See if we can. This could. I mean, this could go for a touchdown, depending on how they pursue. If they take bad angles. Okay, that actually helps. Even though they shift more aggressively, that actually helps me. I feel like. Yep. Oh. Yep. You got it. What does it help their progression to get all American? I actually never. Never knew. I mean, I know getting, like, stats during the game. Oh, interesting. I mean, as opposed to simply, hey, oh, he got really good stats. The actual award helps. That would be really good. I mean, he's already, I feel like, got at least the freshman All-American in the bag. That's a good question, man. Or I mean, a good a good thought. I I really don't know. They'll take over at the 17 yard line. First and 10. Yeah, it never occurred to me to look. Yeah. All right, one quarter down. No gain on the play. Yeah, it's true. No, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Okay, let's take out, though. Let's do that now. Uh, Klutz for Malik. Take out Jenkins. We'll put in... Let's put in Banks at number one. And then here, let's get... Uh, oh, AJ is redshirting. We'll get Damian Owens. Harris, let's get McDonald in there. Because he's backup safety. Jordy, those guys are fine. I don't know if that makes a difference. We can look. I mean, they're both red on the end, so I don't think it'll matter. I'll just do a regular rush with Malik Jackson, too. I'm not going to try to jump it. Yeah, he gets right by him. I mean, maybe, okay, so Roberts did have less traffic over there total. I think there's a DE flip. Yeah, DE flips, we'll run that. Yeah, I know, right? It's like he gets sniped. Now we have a tight end on his side. Oh, there's tight ends on both sides. Even the inside swim. Let's go. Oh, no, he shed it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Almost got our sack. Malik Jackson versus the 5'8". Yeah, he did. Yeah, he got it. Yeah, he's so good. It's weird. There's guys on this team that are so good in the game that didn't even play in real life. Like that Andrew Jones running back, he's pretty good. And he's fast. Yeah, I'm just going to fair catch. I don't want to run the stats. All right. Oh, and also, let's... Uh, Clifton doesn't have 100 yet, I don't think. Uh, where are we at? 50 rushing, 63 receiving. He has 100 total and three touchdowns. Should we just get him one more and call it good? I guess we could do one more and call it good. Yeah. They'll take over at the 47 yard line. Let's do a swing pass here. This good. Or actually, her handoff. I'll try to read it. Actually, I think it's going to be a swing pass because on the left, you see there's like a linebacker next to Say. There's two dudes. I think one, at least one of them is going to rush in. Yep. Oh, I tried to spin. Mm, not really much going on there. Number 22 makes the tackle. Oh, yeah, and you're right. No, you know, I forgot that he – I forgot that he's the backup now because Matthews is – he got the he got the glitch hammer. So let's do this. Let's look at Sadie coming across or Clifton. Uh, There's Dorsey. Oh, no, that's a pick. Oh, goodness. Get throwing picks against Sac State. I thought I threw it higher. Got cheeky. We got cheeky. It's okay. We play down to our FCS. Start the drive at the Don't at me. Yard line. First and ten. 
Let's just strike that one from the record, James. We got it, we got it back there. I could have gone for a pick to pick him back, but it's okay. We just want bat downs. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, I think in real life, uh, nah, it wasn't this game. But there was a game in like 2011. Didn't we beat? It might have been Sac State actually. There was a team that we. There was an FCS that we beat like 17 to seven. All right, let's see if we can get that sack here. I mean, he sheds the he sheds the the tackle with the grace of ease. Try to jump it, I guess. No. Oh, I got decked! <laughs> Look at this. Just bam. Have a sit, Malik Jackson. Who's that tackle? I think maybe he's the one that should be in the NFL. That sounds right. Gosh, was it this one, though? Because this would have been game, like, one. Uh, oh, gosh. What is going on? What is going on? What are these guys doing? So Wiley gets away. The ball bounces back. I like the clap, too. Watch this clap. Clap your hands. Clap, clap. That was bizarre. Okay. Let's let's try again. Let's try halfback angle. And here, this is actually a good one to probably hit Dorsey on the out. Dorsey on the out could easily be a touchdown. Yeah. Uh, he, he tackled it. Okay. Does that count as a return? Or oh, I guess it's a muff, huh? God, I just couldn't get him to not run over there, though. That was annoying. Uh, let's see. P. Reed. Oh, this is interesting. Second and three. So, I think we're going to block. That's, that's, blo that's pass block. So, let's just try to get... We're going to hand off. This should be a handoff to... to uh, yeah, to Clifton here. Ooh, here we go. Oh, look at that. That'll do it. This will conclude your day. Hey, what's up, Triple J? Dude, look at the title. I'm never. I'm not scheduling another FCS. This is out of hand. I was going for realism because we did play Sacramento State this year, but it's just like it's too much of a, too lopsided. So the bra is. It's warranted. So yeah, that'll do it for Clifton. Let's just get him out now. And uh, what do we got? We'll go Lanier. We could still uh, we could still go Matthews as backup. He's got 90 speed. Oh, he just has garbage carry. What about like a fullback? Oh, wait, let's go back to uh, actually let's do this. Let's go back to Dorsey. Dorsey still has carry stats. Let's put Dorsey as backup. Uh, he's probably not. I mean, after that, he's probably not that far off of 200. 121. Six. He's got 200 total. Uh, okay, he needs 18 more yards to get total of 200. So we could do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, when we get back on offense, we'll put him back in. Is that what you're talking about? Get him to 200 uh, total? Yeah, and also Triple J. I think even though I wish this was a better opponent and I hadn't, uh, you know, because we're talking about, oh, I should schedule like Colorado State or UNLV or something like that. Well, I mean, not UNLV just because they're high ranked, but another random kind of mid-major. But after that game against Boise yesterday, I think we need the break. So I think this is, even though I would call this not ideal, this is rather fortuitous. Start the drive I haven't played, okay, yeah, I'll, okay, let's, we'll do that. And then after he hits 200, we'll, uh, we'll put Dorsey in it back up. Let's get Banks some more bat downs. Okay, we'll give him that. Oh, you know what should, I should do too? I need to take out. Uh, I need to take. Is it Kenny Avon? Oh, Jason Shirley. Yeah, let's put in these guys. Oop. There we go. Oh, I almost want to take out Ben Jacobs too. Because I have a pretty big. Uh, I'm pretty thin at middle linebacker. Let's put in Carlson at middle linebacker. I mean, who else is down here? Oh, I don't think he's starting anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Keep him in? Oh, I just don't want him to get hurt, though. Second and six. 
Yeah, they stink, but I mean, that's kind of the point. You really think I should leave uh, leave Ben Jacobs in? Oh, let's do this. Watch. I'll, I might be able to snipe a pick here with, uh, with Malik Jackson. Nope. Oh, he... He was out of bounds. Oh, actually, on that twirl about. Uh, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll let him. We'll let it go. We'll allow it. First and ten. Ball on the forty-nine yard line. Okay, we got that covered. Number eighty-one makes the reception. One yard gain. Wait, so the even the computer generated replay will that you're committed, you can't review it after that point? You're probably right. I just didn't really think about it. Ooh, what we got here? Oh, they're running streaks. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that would have been another classic. That would have been another classic. If I tipped it to this dude. He just didn't recover. Oh, he could have done it. He just didn't really recover in time. Uh third and nine, we'll go cover three. Oh, okay, okay. I do for sure. If if you go to start, if you go to the pause menu and challenge, I know for sure he can't. But at the computer generated, then it really is. Oh, get that! Yeah, nice job. That is. Is that Leonard? I think that was Leonard. Who we got in at DB now? Who we got? Yep. Oh, McDonald. Oh, there at the backup safety freshman. Uh, we're fair catch that. Oop. So I guess we can go with uh, double option. Yeah, we can try to get Clifton is 20. Okay, that's not happening there. Okay, what about like PA read flow? Where does it put? Does it put clip? Okay, puts him it wide out, which actually may work. Let's see what happens here. Oh no! Okay, outside, outside, outside. Urgh. Turned a bit of a corner too. Now is Cl did Clifton come open? Not really. No, he did not. Slight window, maybe, but not worth forcing it. Even though I did force it prior and throw a pick. We don't have to talk about that. Let's look into QB slot option. Yeah. Second and four. Okay, their DBs are heavy on the left, which is good. They shift over. That's good as well. We'll fan right on the line. We're planning on uh, handing it off here. Oh, goodness. No blocking out in the end there. Wiley opted. He opted out. Okay, third and two. Let's look at the uh, corners. Actually, let's get uh, Clifton back in there. Corner sit. Near side uh, swing pass. This is probably man. Look how they're bunched up. I think this is going to be man defense. So Clifton should come free here. Oh, the DB's on him. Oh, get there. Yeah, there we go. We'll go to bounce. Then you get hit. Okay, let's run split and drag. Let's see. We can try to fit one into Sacone or swing it out to Clifton. Clifton should be close to 200. Oh, that was bad. Okay, he was offside, though. All right. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Well, lucky. But hey, that's that was Jared's strategy. If they're offsides, let's chuck it. Wow. So what? Ha oh, what happened there? Oh, it barely missed his hands. That's no good. Is Clifton open? Yeah, kind of, kind of. Oh, that would have been one actually. That Cl that route to Clifton that would have been perfect for uh, if uh, if I waited on it. Let's get mesh. And this is another flare out. So look at Dorsey. We'll look at Dorsey and Say because they're one right. Because we also want to look at Clifton. So that might get him 200. That's probably 200 for Clifton. Yeah. Yep. Where's Dorsey? Get Dorsey in there. All right. All right, let's look at PA Reed flow. Yeah, 201, man. We got it. And three. 
three touchdowns. So we're good to go. Uh, I kind of want to, you know, I kind of want to put QB slot option back on here because I've been having better luck. I've been having better luck with the, uh, yeah, it's really not, that's efficiency. Um, I've been having better luck with the non-pulling, like here, I think QB choice is my, is my audible. But I, oh, I want to get Brand Stater out too, actually. Um, I've been having better luck with the non-pulling guard where they just all kind of run block straight ahead. He's open. Run mesh. Try to throw something short. Get some completions for Norton. Norton's solid, man. Good arm in this game. Since R, basically looking for crossers, R or X. Oh, look at that. That was supposed to go to Sakone. Just a pretty, pretty inaccurate pass. I did precision pass high bullet. So let's look at, does this have QB slot? No, it doesn't. Let's go to QB slot. Uh, no. Regular here. Oh, tight end slot. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll have Lanye, should have Bear as the other halfback here. Oh, I ran into that guy, man. So I actually, I should have got engaged by this guy, probably. 52, 51, pardon me. I just didn't cut enough left. That's okay. So with any luck, we can run the clock out here, run the quarter mostly out. HB sub, yeah, why not? Let's try HB zone. This usually doesn't work at all. Ah, this puts us in a third and long, though, if we don't get it, which is very likely. Yeah, their blocking is so strange. Let's run, let's just run split and drag. Look at that, we didn't really have to move our guys around. That's nice. So we're looking for Sacone coming across. Actually, we could even go to, to Leonard here. Uh, I was gonna, ah, darn it. I was gonna try to shoehorn it into Sacone, because I think if I did it high, I could have got in here. Leonard was sort of open, but this guy can easily run in front. I'm guessing the flare was open. Yeah, it was super open, yep. Yeah, yep, yeah, I saw that afterwards. Third and 11. Let's do WR corners, because we get a, a post and a corner. Actually, two corners. Uh, we'll leave Lanier to run out there. We're going to trust our blocking a bit. Whether that's warranted, can't say. Oh, almost got it. We tried. Uh, I didn't really have anybody too open. Wiley kind of in a one-on-one. -on -one. He kind of might have got a rocket catch if I threw it to him. So I think if I call if I call this field goal, they're going to call a timeout. So let's just let it run out a little bit more. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Nope, they didn't. Sometimes they'll call it after you come out in special teams. Depends on the situation, though. If the game's closer, I think they probably would. It's okay. We got Stitzer. I mean, Stitzer, we got to get him some tick. He's the most likely to get an award. Yeah, it definitely. I mean, I, I kind of saw it at the last moment, but fortunately my angle was strong enough to where I was still, I was, I was, I was good enough to overcome it. I've had a lot of windy games. And also, I don't know if you saw Triple J, the Boise game yesterday. I actually restarted it because I didn't have my defensive playbook, and it was super windy. Oh, before I restarted, though. After I restarted, they, uh, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't windy. All right, looking good. Do we have at least 200 offense? Pretty sure we do. I mean, Clifton has over 200 hours on. 272. I'll we'll take it. Let's keep the train rolling. The Sacramento State Hornets. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Bopper Co. Uh, I probably should, if I have a good opportunity, let him run him back. 
So here, my, my goal is going to be efficiency, but clock. Like, I want to move the chains, I want to get touchdowns, but just drain clock at the same time. Let's look at... Uh, let's look at double cross. I ran this play last season. Don't really run it anymore. It's because it doesn't have, like, a man beater and a zone beater uh, pattern in it. But Lanye's been getting loose on these flare outs, so we'll have a look at that, or maybe Dorsey coming across her in the middle. Here we go. Dorsey. Oh, set him down. Oh, almost got the bowling ball. Okay, now let's run HP zone, because we can afford to have... I don't mind second and long. This also might work. My O-line has them so overmatched. This might work. We're going to fan out, because I really don't know what else to do here. Actually, does this guy follow? He's following a bit. Oh, look at that. We got some lead blocks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We'll go down. He did, dude. He's an athlete. He's an athlete, man. No joke. Crossers. First and ten. Ball on the 38 yard line. Okay. So actually Wiley Wiley could come really free on this. It's kind of what I'd expect. Two down linemen. If one of them decks my O line, I'm be a little upset. Nope. Okay. Actually Norton kind of came free there. Did anybody they, they get free over here? Uh, we kind of had maybe a possibility. Actually, Dorsey, Dorsey would have scored. He's way faster. I'm just not looking downfield like that. Yeah, so is that true? So I didn't actually see that. I saw his position listed as receiver, but I never actually saw that it, like, oh, he in 2008, he changed to receiver. Like, I just saw I just saw that he was recruited as a running back and that he ended up as a receiver. So I was not really sure about that. Oh, goodness. Get rid of it. Oh, wow. Bad blocking there. It's okay. They blitzed. Third and six. Okay, we'd like to pick this up. What do we have in a th pick up third and six flavor here? Uh, let's go to corner sit. Corner sit's really good. Where is it, though? Why am I not seeing it? Oh, it's in here. I might have to call timeout. Yeah, I'm going to have to call timeout. I don't know, I'll get up there quickly enough. Four, three, two, one. Nope. Okay. Try this again. This is super good because you have a post and a corner and a... Uh, this actually might be one of the best pass, pass plays I have. Because you have C, corner, Leonard, post, and then Dorsey, uh, swing pass. There we go. Easy. Leonard probably was open too. I mean, they're just uh, not really actually. The dot had him pretty well covered. Wiley kind of getting loose over there. I need to just toss one up. Next drive, I'm going to toss one up to a fast dude and just let him outrun because I think it would work. Let's run QB choice and see if they stack up against me. That's 425 junk. Really throws me off. It throws off the blocking. Okay, what if we move Sacone out of there? Do they change their shift? They do not. What about if we bring over... Who's that? Dorsey? Yeah, all right. We'll flare left on the line. Let's just see what happens. Well, there we go. Stiff arm. Set him down. All right. Let's run... Delta pivot. I need to run... That's maybe the one I need to run later when I want to run streaks because that those streak routes are freaking good. All right, here we go. Probably Dorsey. Looking either Dorsey or Sacone. Probably trying to hit Dorsey here. Or if it's man, we'll go Wiley. Okay, we're going Dorsey. Nope. Uh, there we go. There we go. Nice. Actually, did he did he land in bounds? I kind of want to see, because he jumped way into the end zone to catch it. Oh yeah, he did. He did by a few steps. I just wasn't quite looking at his feet till the end. I saw he went out of bounds eventually. Very nice. So that's a good drive. Took t two minutes and 20. So I guess didn't really drain as much clock as I would have liked to. But it's good. This And, and this is realistic, you know? This is realistic. Uh, uh, a one loss FBS team against 
in FCS, this is probably how it should go. You know, this isn't Michigan, Appalachian State now. This is Fresno. Ugh. Of course. Hopefully he's okay. What's with all the elbows? There's been so many elbow injuries. Okay, we might have to stick to nickel to not get weird substitutions. So it looks like this is, is this Harris at the slot. Oh, it's Owens. Okay, we'll man up Simmons here. Oh, man. I was going to try it at the last second. Oh, actually, I was supposed to be like over here. There we go. I was going to try at the last second to uh, jump the snap, but they okey-doked me. So I guess this might be the one where I just toss it up to, like, Wiley. Uh, 18. We'll run crossers. Oh, well, this is for Jared. Look at this. He might even be guarded by a dot. This is for Jared. I hope you're watching, Jared. Pump fake. Oh, no, that was the throwaway button. Was he open? He actually wasn't that open. I hit the wrong button. I meant to pump fake. Let's try that again. Oh, let's go Delta. Let's go Delta. What is it? Delta pivot? Okay, it's... Oh, here it is. Uh, outside... Who's 17? 17's Leonard. There we go. This is the one. We're going to Leonard. Leonard's the touchdown, the garbage time touchdown man. This is for Jared. I'm not even touching the controller. This is all CPU. Yep, there you go. There's the flyer out, man. It finally took... A, it finally It finally happened. You know, it's against Sac State in November, but it finally happened. Yeah, so maybe he, uh, yeah, well, dude, that was a nice, it was a, it was a nice bucket drop. I'm sure, I'm sure Norton has plus stats from completing some passes, and we have momentum, so makes sense. Oh, I should be taking out like, my O-line and stuff, too. Let's see, who are the backups here? Wendell. Okay, Meeks is right tackle. Popovich, who do we have? Okay, McDowell, we'll do that. And then over here, we want to do, I think, Meeks. Where's Meeks? There he is. Oh, Lapori. Oh, that's a guard. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Let's take Lapori out as well. Meeks, well, Meeks is it right guard. Okay, it just doesn't show him as a starter yet. Uh, Guevara, we'll, have, we'll give them all a take at different spots, why not? Okay, I, mean, I think I'll just man up now. Well, that's going to put... This might put receivers at DB. Owens... McDonald. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's good. Let's see, let's use McDonald. I haven't used McDonald this season. He's been back up. He really hasn't gotten in that much. Pretty good pursuit. Number 13 on the run. Three yard gain on the play. Yeah, we'll just run this cover one. I do need to fix my defensive audibles though. It's not super crucial, but it's pretty it's you want to have them right. Oh, this might be tough. Ooh. Okay. Oh, he got it. Okay, there we go. Carlson cleaning up. 14 sacks for Brandon Sayer. Uh, it's not that bad. I could have been worse. That's less than that's less than two a game. Okay, I'll go with cover one again. Yeah, that was nice. Two weeks for Dorsey. You guys have been dropping like flies. Go with Banks here. Actually, no, let's go McDonald. Manual control is going to be better. We got this. Tackle, tackle. Oh! Didn't swarm very well there. And also, oh, yeah, that's a good question. Well, we have Leonard. We, we still have our guys because we have uh, we have uh, Wiley. We have Leonard. Leonard should get some tick. Okay, that's another completion. Goodness. But yeah, I mean, Matthews might have to be receiver four. I could also just run t uh, three receiver sets and not have to put in Ryan Matthews. Banks is on minus. I wonder why. Yeah, what's that about? I don't appreciate that. I guess, I guess we'll go to cover three. Or, I mean, pardon me, four three. They're running the ball. Look at Chris Carter. What a beast. Okay, let's go... Uh, wait. 
lovely jump. Dude, look at the Kenny Avon. Kenny Avon can move. Kenny Avon is an athlete. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's that's one thing you don't want in this game like this. Like, you're going to get hurt, and it's against Sac State. We don't want that. Actually, let's control. Well, I was going to try to manually control. Oh, darn it. I was going to try to manually control uh, Number 13 on the run. Uh, Malik Jackson some more. On the play. First and ten. Ball on the Dude, he can. He's on the prowl. Okay, it's actually bad if it goes up to pass the running back. Okay, not the wrong way. Oh, that's Roberts. I guess Jackson's on the other side. I mean, they're moving the ball. I need to tighten up. Let's go cover three. We're going to have to go to our normal base defense, cover three, cheat up with the safety. Because they're starting to they're starting to flirt with field goal range. I don't care for it. Okay, this is, here we go, here we go. Ooh, wide open. That's not good. Banks, dude, Banks. Banks plays the nickel maybe better than he does the deep man. Okay, at this point, we need to get a turnover. So let's go ahead and get Banks. We know Banks has sticky hands. We can manual Banks. Let's get the other. Oh, actually, go back. Go back. There we go. So manual banks. We'll try to go for a pick. We'll get greedy. Oh, direct snap. I think we can get our turnover, though. I think we can do it. I got to play back. I can't get burned. Here goes. Oh, no. Not going to me. <gasps> no. Dude, they're moving the ball. Okay. Uh, let's do this. We'll go sack red and then audible to cover three zone. And then the thing I discussed before was I'm going to manual McDonald. Oh, here we go. Get out there. Get out there. Get out there. Oh, get out. Okay, I was trying to go for the strip. Dude, it's, they're yeah, what's going on? They're running it down my throat right now. Don't appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Oh, I tried to, uh, man, I tried to jump the snap. It didn't even work. It's so strange. Maybe I need full momentum. Maybe it's because momentum got cut in half. Well, look at that. They, <laughs> I, I wasn't able to drain clock for a touchdown. Sac State was. That's pretty bad. Okay, let's run it a couple times and get out of the quarter. 365, so we'll, we'll, we'll do pretty good on offensive yardage. Oh, this is good. So we'll, uh, we won't worry about the motion. We'll just try to get alignment to move. Do a three count. Nobody's moving. Great jump. Oh, no. Lyman's hurt. Goodness. I just, and I saw it, too, because when I hand it off, watch, he just lays there. I'm like, oh, shoot, he's hurt. He's rather motionless. Let's look at the drags. Second and seven. Ball yeah, this is just a strange game. Okay, so maybe Leonard getting free or Sacone. That's a pretty good throw here by Norton. And good throw power, too. In the face of Rush as well. Okay, so we can run it one time and get out of here. So let's do receiver sweep. Who's this going to? Looks like this is going to C. So that works. Okay, and they shift over. That's good. We'll just uh, get that under 25 seconds so that we can run the clock out on the quarter after this play. Oh. Cool. 
On to the fourth we go. Yeah, we'll see if we hit 70. I feel like, James, you're super pro at requesting point totals that are, like, just ever so out of reach. Yeah. Yeah. Under 150. Yeah, what do they have now? Let's check it out. Uh, oh, they're already at 161. Oh, pardon me, that's total offense. 118, yeah. <laughs> well, I could just boot one right now. I'm in range. I'm in stitcher range. Dude, I'm just... Okay, my, my starting left tackle's back in. I don't care for that. Uh, I'll just run it. Oh, oh I was going to try to catch a block with my uh, tackle there. Yeah, he's 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 a beast. All right, let's run PA Reed. If they suck in, say you should come open here. Also, have they done mass subs? I don't think they have. Actually, I think there might even be a thing in this game where FCSs don't ever run mass subs. Ooh, scoot out. Scoot out. Get that first. No, exactly. Wouldn't be able to tell the difference, and it just yeah, yeah. I think I think they actually don't. I remember someone saying that at some point. Okay, let's just do let's do this HB streak because I just want to like have Clifton do a thing where he doesn't engage with anyone and get hurt. We'll probably look at how, look how far back they are. Should be able to just like bullet this to Riley or excuse me Wiley. Nope. But we can curl around. Oh, no. Look at the defense. Second and ten. Okay. Zone read. Resweep. Oh, let's run the sweep op. Wait. This one has sweep option. Yeah, I'll run sweep option. Oh, did he? Where is he? Oh, he did, yeah. He's looking good out there in that corner. Okay, they're coming in. This is another sweep to say he also has an option to uh, to Lanya here. I'm just going to set him down. Four on the carry. Yard gain on so this might be a good spot. Oh, man. Well, let's let's leave Lanya in there. And we will run... We'll run PA Reed Flow and see if I can just run it in the end zone from here. He's tired, so I don't know how well that'll work. See this guy follow? He does not quite follow. That's good, though. That means he's probably in pass defense. Okay, that guy moved. Yeah, we're getting in. Oh. So, actually, actually, here's what I'll do. Because I, I really don't want to hand it to... Uh, I really don't want to hand it to uh, Clifton here. But can we do, like, fullback at running back? Yeah, we can. Second and one. I think it's going to be Adams. Oh really? Let's see. Do I? Is there a corner here? Yeah, I, yeah, that's true. I'm just being super conservative and just basically playing easy mode right now. Well, oh, they're both in pass coverage, so this should be good for a handoff. Oh wow, they both rush in. They, that was a pretty good okie doke. Same play from earlier. Oh, so is that going to be drags? Let's go back to full back, right, running back. Looks like they don't have it down here. That's fine. Short drags, yeah, and then we'll have corner end zone. So yeah, so that's probably this is probably good. Let's see, we'll block Lanye. So we're looking at Banks coming across or Sacone end zone. Uh, oh, we got a foot in. Well, let's just try to get up and snap it. Oh, it was Banks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Well, he's just doing everything. Maybe it'll give him extra pass-catching stats. Let's just get this up before they can challenge it. Oh, too late. I was going to try to review, like, all the balls in the air. Re review the last play. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it's true. Well, I mean, Banks is only my nickel. He's my third corner. A even though he's really good, he's not exactly irreplaceable at this point. In spirit, of course. In spirit, absolutely, of course. 
All right. Let's go with cover three. We'll stick to our cover three. The cover one man did not work that well last uh, last drive. Oh my gosh! Great jump, but I didn't. It didn't help me. Oh, we got the strip. Yeah, I tried, man. Let's just go back. Let's just run a uh, three receiver set. Yeah. So no, no banks here. PAQB choice. They'll run this one. Start the drive at the 31 yard line. First and ten. Oh goodness, ran right at that guy. I guess I could have run up the middle here. Ah, oh, that guy's pass blocking. Number 42 with the tackle. Did he recover it? I actually didn't see who recovered it. He might be right though. Okay, I want to I want to get a first down. We're in this PA read. Second and twelve. Ball on the Got Adams in there at running back. So I might have Sadie coming across. This I actually I should be able to run it here. Oh my gosh. Number 92 on the They're tricking me because this guy follows the motion man. I motion say this guy followed, but then he ended up blitzing. All right, so we're in field goal range. Let's just go split and drag. So this is this is a good one actually where I can... This is this works well because this flare out by, by Lanye is the one where I have to wait to get it to him. So this is good. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh goodness! Oh, well, we got field goal range. Okay, what kind of wind now? Wind is against, so we have to angle it extra. This we don't want to ruin the Groza award chances. I feel like I need to aim at like the left upright, which you normally wouldn't do. Like that. I think it's gonna have to be like like that. Straighten out. No, no, mama, no! Dang, man. The fear, wind was fierce. Wow. Well, realism. You're not. You shouldn't be. You know. He's got two misses on the air. Ugh. Well, at least we know for next time. Because that wind actually, I guess, wasn't that bad. It was. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, it wasn't completely to the side. I guess it was more of an angle. You look at Malik Jackson getting a tackle. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Do I want to know what that means? Second and inches. Ball on the 39-yard line. Oh, I have not seen that, actually. I feel like I'm missing out right now on an inside joke. Triple J, can you verify? Is that funny? I need some I need some cross reference. Okay, there's running now. That's oh no. Get out there. Number thirty on the run. Second inches. Alright. So they're kinda of running I think they're just snapping it immediately, so let's see if we can get up here. Oh no, no. Okay, we'll play back. You guys fan over. We'll just play back here. Ah, couldn't we go? Oh, look, he's running away from Lake Jackson. Okay, let's go. We'll go with cover three. Looks like they're just running it though. <laughs> Dude, sorry, James. We were unable to verify. The fast ball's incomplete. Number 84, the intended. So does that have something to do with like an inaccurate kick or throw? I might just have to check it out. Oh my gosh. He keeps running away from me. Number 30 on the carry. I don't know if we're going to get that 50 now. They're draining so much clock. Okay, I don't know if this is a pass or not. I'll just play it straight up. Oh, run, QB run. I'll probably go for it. Yeah. 
will stay in nickel. I mean, pardon me, go stand dime. Ball on the 40 yard line. They jump. That's not going to work. All right, so let's just run it with Lanier a couple times. We can call this sucker good. QB slot. Okay, good. None of my good offensive linemen are in. Look at Norton, all the green. Actually, this could be a keeper. Uh, this could be a keeper here. Oh, there we go. Spin move. Whoa. Tried. Number four, the ball carrier. Eleven yard gain on the play. <laughs> oh goodness. Let's we'll get one, one for the giver here. We're going to hand this one to Adams. Oh my gosh, he can't get positive yardage. Number 55 makes the tackle. So I guess we have to run one more time. So let's do that also with Adams. Full back, QB slot. Second and 11. Uh, he's getting tired, man. I also don't want him getting hurt. Here we go. Positive yardage. Po oh, look at this. Positive yardage for Adams. Oh, no, no. Don't. No, 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 no. Stay back. Okay, okay. I just didn't want him to cross the 20 because that would be uh, – I'd have to I'd have to kick a field goal. Mike Allstott. I know, right? It's Mike Adams. Maybe it might as well be Mike Allstott, though. That's the best run of his career. He's got, like, 61 speed. We did it. Let's get some recruits. Let's get some recruits. I agree. And we can call it good. Call it a day. Four sixty six offense. We will take that. Good balance. That's the balance I was looking for. Passing yards, rushing, two twenty one, two forty five. Norton really stepping up. Anytime Norton comes in, it's usually pretty good. So Clifton carrying the load, both sides, uh, rushing and passing. Russian and receiving, I should say. Now oh, look at the pancakes. They still got a lot of pancakes. Even on FCS opponents, you'll see the high pancakes. Yeah, so pretty solid. Banks. Banks making it happen. All right, let's go check it out. Let's get some recruits. Call it good. Also, we should get player development. What do you guys want to see first, player development or recruits? Actually, we might not have a choice. It'll probably show recruits after we advance the week here. Look at that. Got our guard, got our tackle. So I think there was someone we did not get. Maybe they just didn't commit yet. 6, 8, 3, 10. Big boys. All right. Uh, let's go back out of that. So is there someone we didn't get? Remaining 33. I feel like we did lose someone. Taylor Jones, Jeff Sims. Who was the uh, corner? Are we still, okay, the corner's still in play. We're number one. Very nice. Steve nearly commits to Fresno State. Soft verbal. So does this guy, okay, he likes the academics. We're bringing him in on the bye week. Uh, okay, that's after Nevada. Okay, Nevada's on the road. We'll stay high on this guy. We need corners badly. Soft verbal, soft verbal. So that's good. So we got soft verbals from the... Oh, wait. These are not the guys we just looked at. These are different guys. So it's another D-tackle, another lineman. Oh, before it was tackling guard. Yeah. So I guess here we'll probably leave this D-tackle, maybe get him to 20 We have because we have extra points. Let's get this guy up to 20 as well. I want, kind of want to give the rest of this corner, to be honest. We already have a few O-linemen. We already have a defensive tackle. I kind of want to give it all to this corner. So let's do that. Yeah. 
So let's have a look at in-season uh, development. First, let's look at the dots. Okay, Jenkins is still a dot, that's good. Okay, here we go. Brand Stater looks about the same. Don't think anything's changed there. Matthews has evened it up. He's evened it up with Clifton. Gain carry, gain some break tackle. He has better break tackle than Clifton. I would say that's that's, that's how it should be. Hmm. Dude, Ryan Matthews is he's gonna be a beast next year. I mean, he's already kind of a beast right now. He's decently rated at 92 speed. Sacone is now our best receiver that's not hurt. Chesson will be back for the bowl game. Wiley, Dorsey, Leonard. So these guys are all everybody's bumping up pretty well. This is look, I mean it's gonna be a really good receiving core next year. Chesson leading the pack. Sacone. Okay, we're losing Dorsey, but we have other guys that are pretty good. This is really exciting. Pasco finally uh, stepped up and is now even with the other guys at tight end. O-line coming along. Lepori, what a beast. What a beast. Wendell, 89. O-line. Oh, everybody's clicking, man. 50, 25, 25. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. I'll, I'll do that. That's not a bad idea. Because also, I, there's pro I think there's a point of, of diminishing returns. So it's probably a good call. Look at Roberts. I gotta watch out. He might go pro. And because another thing, I don't know if I've talked about this, I generally let guys go pro that want to go pro. If they're like above a 90 and they want to go pro, I, I my policy is I let them go. And the reason I say above 90 is because you can get guys that are like a 78 or an 80 that just have crazy stats and they'll go and it's just not realistic. And peeps are coming along. Banks is coming along a little bit. Look at his acceleration. That's a quick dude. 91 speed. Yeah, we need him to develop so badly. Our two corners are both seniors. That's going to be rough. Safeties will be better next year, though. Safety is a big plus point. Edwards gained some. This guy might be gone after next year. His stats are so weird. Low acceleration. Well, this tackle's pretty good. I don't know. There was some guy that was... Maybe it was this guy? He was an athlete, and he just had really strange... Like agility stats. I don't remember who that was. Well, anyway. Oh, yeah. Let's fix that. Let's fix the points on that. Uh, yeah, we'll go 50. Oh, was it really? The safety, right? Awareness 56. Awareness 48. Yeah, so bad. We'll see how he develops. He's a red shirt. He's a red shirt. Good catch. Good, decent tackle. Not very fast. This, I think this was the athlete, though. I think this was the athlete that ran like a 4-2, right? What the recruits' top three are. Uh, yeah. We can do that. So, let's look. So like this guy, Arizona State, USC. Then we have Oregon. So basically Arizona State, USC, we want to, we want to check on them in Oregon. Uh, yeah, so let's do this. We can just go to Pac-12, actually. Pac-10. Arizona State. Uh, oh, it's USC versus Arizona State, so it's unavoidable. Yeah, USC, Arizona State. One, one versus two. That's going to be a fun one. And then Oregon is away, so that's not an issue. But USC, Arizona State. So it's very possible that we don't get either of these guys. That's very possible. Yeah. All right, well, I think yeah, I'm going to switch over to my other input. So picture will go out for just a second, I think. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. We handled Sac State pretty well. The only casualty we had was we lost Dorsey for... I mean, it's a two-week injury, but the one game counts, so he's out for next week. Yeah, it's it could be bad for recruiting. They could land both of these guys, but that's why we're giving them a ton of points. It's just too bad we couldn't get them to visit last week. Really too bad. That's okay. There's also yeah, there's out-of-season recruits. 
We'll have more opportunities to get our corner. And also, it's proven it's proven fact. These guys in season are, ne are not nearly as good. They're, they're never as good as out-of-season recruits. So it's probably to balance things out because you can you can pick up like basically you can pick up these guys regardless of sanctions like you don't I don't think your sanctions affect well except scholarships so if you lose 10 scholarships that applies but things like lesser like you get the same amount of recruiting points yeah we clinched we clinched the whack because uh, Boise we gave Boise a loss and so if they win, if like if they won and we lost we would tie on the, where we would have a tiebreaker on head to head. There's conference standings. Yeah, let's look at that. We didn't we didn't jump in the rankings. Oh, let's look at bowl projections. Where do they have us? MPC Bowl, December 28th. I don't think that gives us Riley back. We'll see though. We'll see. We can always try to recalculate. What are we in here? 20. So you know V's still ahead with our loss. Utah's two losses in their head. Yeah, so we're not getting that. Oh, let's check it out. Uh, award finalists. Well, so you can't see that, but you can see award finalists. So hopefully, oh, Jenkins. Oh, Jenkins made it up to number four. I don't think he was that high before, but he made it up there. Stitzer still up there, missed two field goals, but he's still looking strong there. Wiley, best returner, looking good. Coach, I'm up there. I'm top three. We'll see what happens. What players of the week? Okay, Clifton finally got player of the week. Very well-rounded effort, four touchdowns. 123 rushing eight receiving. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll do it. That'll do it for the video and the stream. We are. Yeah, he really is the player of the half. That's true. But yeah, well, I'm going to end the video now. So we'll see you next time with Nevada to end the season, and we'll see where we end up for the bowl game. So we'll see you then.